In this video, we provide a solution to question number one from exam practice exam one for math 1220, in which case we have to evaluate the integral from negative two to two of the function three x plus one squared with respect to x. Um, my first thoughts when I look at this one is probably just foil the thing out, the three x plus one squared. If you do that, you would end up with a nine x squared plus six x plus one. I then am gonna to choose to integrate that thing, find an antiderivative. Antiderivative of 9x squared will become a 3x cubed. Um, the antiderivative of 6x would be 3x squared, and the antiderivative of one would then be an x at that point. Uh, we can plug in negative two and positive two. Uh, so then we're gonna just work through that calculation there. So we get three times two, uh, two cubed, which is an eight. Then we're gonna get three times two squared, which is four, and then we get a two. Then we subtract from that, when we plug in the negatives there, you're gonna get three times negative eight plus three times negative four, actually positive four, square there. And then you're going to get a negative two like so. So some things to note here, uh, three times eight is 24. And here, because there's a double negative, 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 you're actually gonna get 24 twice. So that gives us a 48. Um, in this situation, you have three times four, which is 12. Over here, you also get a 12, which is a minus, so they actually cancel each other out. And then lastly, you're gonna get two um, minus a negative two, which will actually make it a positive four. So you get 48 plus four, which then simplifies to be a 52. So we see that the correct answer is in fact D. And that's, I think, the simplest way to approach this one. Now, if you wanted to, you could have also made this work using a U substitution. You could have made U equal three X plus one DU equals in that case three um, for which you could have a three right here and a one third right here if you're going to do that you probably should change the bounds as well when you plug two inside of this you end up with a seven so you could rewrite your integral as one third the integral from seven on top when you plug in negative two on the bottom you'll get a negative five and then your function looks like u squared du for which then you can uh, integrate it from there. You're gonna get a 1 9th u cubed as you go from negative five to seven. And so you get 1 9th, you're gonna get seven cubed, and then you'll get a negative, negative five cubed. And I'll let you finish this out and show that's equal to 52. Um, the u substitution is a viable option, but I think with this one, uh, just foiling it out and working it out it turned out to be much simpler. And so that's the recommendation, that's the recommended approach I would take on this one.